All right, so I'm going to show you how to trade Ethereum on Fibit. Okay, it's Bitcoin in and Bitcoin out only. I just deposited about $15,000. I want to trade Ethereum. I'm going to take my Bitcoin amount, okay, and I'm going to go to conversion. I'm going to go to Ethereum because I think Ethereum is going to go back under $2,000. So let's hit convert. A lot of times it doesn't do it the first time. Oh, it worked perfect. So now I have no more Bitcoin. I come here and I should have, all right, so six Ethereum. So what we're going to do here is the price is dropping. Let's take, let's start with two Ethereum here at 50X just to get our position in. Now, 50, it's probably going to go against me. It's morning pump time. The fee is 6%. Anything over 6% is your profit. I'm going to take a screenshot as I begin my day so I know how many uh, Ethereum I started with. So I sent over this much Bitcoin, which is about $12,000. Okay, so let's go back here. Here's my ETH trade at 50x is where I start. I'm going to try to build up my Ethereum. So. What I'm going to do now is just show you how to do an anti-liquidation countermeasure. First of all, I don't want to be in for only two. So I know that my cut loss is 2,088. So if this thing right now goes to 2,060, we're going to use a limit order. I'm going to step into this. Okay, I'm going to put one Ethereum at price 2060 limit order do not use the stop loss box i'm still going to be at 50x for this okay so we're going to go ahead if it goes up hold on 20 what's my cut loss here you know what we'll buy more even as much as 270 okay cuz that's where we are and we're going to do that as a step down so it's going to blend it look we're already almost in profit okay now we're going to blend it into this trade so if it comes up a little bit more we're going to buy in another ethereum okay buy it down it should show here as an order it'll buy in one ethereum and and since it's pumping up against us at that point when it makes that buy it will slightly slightly reduce our leverage at this point, we will have three Ethereum, okay, in the trade. Now we're going to put in a fourth Ethereum. If this thing goes up to 85, okay, my liquidation, okay, so now we're $3 away, 85.48. This is not an anti-liquidation countermeasure. This is buying into any kind of pump that may come. Should be order number two. So that'll put four of our six Ethereum in the trade. Now we need to start thinking about anti-liquidation countermeasures. So that's going to be a limit order at 1x. It's going to be $1. It's $10 on Bitcoin, $1 on Ethereum. We can do $2 to play it safe. So $2 before this is $86. Let's do $1 exactly. So we're going to make it 87, 48, all. Now, if this thing goes within $1 of my liquidation price, I'd have to be down 70% for this to occur, okay? If it goes within $1 of my liquidation price, this at 1x will dilute my trade. Boom! To show up here as an order. It will dilute those trades, putting the brakes on liquidation. Since it's 1x and it's about half the trade size, it will cut me down, okay, down to maybe 30x instead of 50. It'll give me a new cut loss and push this cut loss further away, saving me from liquidation. This is the anti-liquidation countermeasure that we would use on Ethereum. Now, I didn't really sit here and time this for the ideal entry 
Okay, I should have let them pump a little more. I should have used situational awareness at seven o'clock. I should have waited till around stock market pump time. But this is the only time I have to make a video. I feel that this is safe. It's not a huge amount. And I can back it up and send a little bit more if I need to. Now, when you want to withdraw, you're going to don't use this auto sell. What are you stupid? Use the conversion feature. You're going to convert because it's Bitcoin in and Bitcoin out only. You're going to convert your Ethereum back to Bitcoin. Put the amount and it should work. If it doesn't work the first time and says an error, do it again. Set it again. Other than that, for entries, I like to enter it market. Really, really simple. So I'm going to put this on pause for a minute and then I'll win the trade. Maybe you'll even see it. So here on the low time frame, we expected a pump. So we're gonna we don't want to buy in just two ETH. Okay, we're gonna buy in more in increments, but we're gonna do it intelligently. Instead of buying into the pump at 50x, we're gonna want to slow down slightly. So we'll do 40x, almost the same thing. It will help us once we apply the breaks here, if need be. I think the price is breaking down. Let's take a screenshot. None of you should get nervous when you leverage trade and you're slightly down. For Fibit, which is this exchange, the parameters of your equipment are critical. I can't understand how you could trade and not know at what point you would be liquidated. Maybe you're down 40%, 50%, I don't know. And you have no idea when you get liquidated. There's no indicator, there's nothing. Your emotions will make you possibly close a trade to avoid liquidation. Well, I'm going to give you the parameters from my years of trading on this exchange. You can be down as much as 75%, okay, before you are liquidated. Again, 75%. All it does is go up and down. So now that you know you have to be down 75%, you shouldn't worry if you're down 40% or even 50 That's normal. But if you used proper wallet management and set some money aside, let's say you didn't even use this stagger strategy. You just entered the trade all in and set up your ALCM. Well, now you have extra knowledge. Your Liquidation is still around 75% down, but before that happens, your ALCM, I've created this anti-liquidation countermeasure, will fire off. Only on this exchange this works. It will blend into this trade, reducing your leverage, like putting the brakes on, cutting down your leverage and giving you a new cut loss. If you manage your wallet properly and you're sure of direction, with that new cut loss, you can set a new anti-liquidation countermeasure. It should be roughly half the size of your trade, maybe a quarter if you're going to actively watch the trade. Okay. And on Bitcoin or on Ethereum, it is $1 away. If you're shorting, it's $1 below. If you are longing, it's $1 above. You can figure out why that is. Everything I tell you is based on common sense. Now, here's another thing you need to know. On Bitcoin, you need to be exactly $10 away. Exactly $10 away. On Cardano, it could be, uh, let's say it, it's 3928. You see that 2 8 on the end? It could be 10 away. So it could be 1 8 or 1 6 below or above. Okay, so it's taking 10 from there. Here it's $10. Here it's $1. I don't do too much Bitcoin cash, but it would be around $1. I hate doing Ethereum because they're so expensive. It looks like for $13,000, I got dust. Okay. Um, but you know what? It's a nice, slower moving. It's like I, I, I pertain or I, I would describe 
Ethereum as Bitcoin's, I don't know if it's right to say, retarded sister. She's just a little slower, just as attractive, but a little slower. And you see, at full throttle, 50x here on market, we're cruising nicely in the downward. You don't have to let being down scare you. Now you know the parameters of the equipment. 75% down, you get liquidated or another, or your ALCM will fire. Now, here's what I don't like about the strategy of staggering in. Probably going to go into profit now. Okay. The direction is going to be down. I, I'm telling you, I've been watching. Okay. Been watching slowly from 89 been down so we have two greens a smaller one on the one hour takes four to mean pumping on the six hour we well what i teach is the bigger the candle the bigger the move compare the new six hour to the previous or the previous looks to me like the green army is weakening for this excitement that it came about for ethereum so it was down to 1796 yesterday. I was shorting her into oblivion. Today I'm choosing to use Fibit. All the links are below the video. I really tried to make this like a lesson. I watch YouTubers that draw circles and bearish wedges, and they tell you what happened yesterday as if they're some kind of genius. You know, I'm teaching you how to trade in the moment, in the now. If you'd really like to learn, Below my video is a link for Discord and consult. My base price to have a session with me and learn how to trade like this in one hour. So it'll take you to go from douchebag to winner is one hour with me, 0 0.06. You have access to my Discord group, everything. If you want the mentor package, it's a fraction of a Bitcoin. The mentor package is two sessions with me. The second one is called 30 Days In, where you and I get together again in a Zoom, and I make sure that you got my system down 100% war on the one-minute chart. And all, and that's 0 0.10. It's all listed below. Click the link. Show more. If you can't find that, you probably wouldn't even be able to find me. So I'm not even going to show you where it is. Showed you how to place the perfect trade right here. Okay. Nice, conservative today. I'm going to slowly build up. I'm going to send more money. I can't play with dust. It's harder to win when you're playing with dust. Trust me. Bigger money means more dollars. But I wanted to show you. We went in this from start to finish together. You've seen that we started down like 17%. That's chill. I knew the direction. We're almost at fees. You always want to cover over your fees. I would say... A good closing zone is 20, 30% every time. And just keep washing in and out at that. Don't do low leverage. It takes too long. 50X is slow enough, even for the slow amongst you. You don't have to do these stagger orders. You can go all in at once if you are good at entries and exits. Okay. But this you need an anti liquidation countermeasure. And that is our five bit lesson for today perfectly executed 18 percent 19 percent 20 percent the fees are six percent let's go ahead and take that just to show you okay we increased our balance very small let's cancel all of these and now what you're going to do here is you're going to wait to reload i really think that ethereum will not hold okay this price so I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to leave you with a moment of bliss. Wait, before I do that, I'm going all in. Screw this. Hold on. 7%. It's called Jackrabbit Trading. We're over fees. Just for shits and giggles. Take it. The ideal thing is to wait. Okay. But we do have a little bit more Ethereum. We'll just keep going like this. Okay. Hold on. 50x. Now look, all it does go up and down. Links are below the video. Sign up for five, but try it. Now you know how to use it. It's amazing. And I will leave you with this moment of Oracle Bliss. Are you all ready? Put your headphones on. As they buy the dip, 
I will get ready to set up an attack again. I'm going to send more funds in and go for the glory. Project Tori. That's all I can tell you. A moment of bliss with the Oracle.